cool, this is man. Fun, man. Let's forget about that other stage. Let's all just jam. We got a drummer here. Come on. We decided we really wanted to find a way to take all the visitors that come in and talk to them and give them an opportunity for you know what it's like for a musician to come in and get in the garage for the first time. <laughs> uh, spent tons of time in garages with garage bands growing up. Yeah. It's the only place you can play and rehearse. You know, I think every young musician starts out yeah. in the garage. The first garage I ever played in was uh, uh, my friend Gary Holt's garage. Because like uh, like a lot of my friends didn't have garages. <laughs> hey. Yeah. So that was but a Gary's, spot. yeah, Gary's <laughs> family actually had a garage right. to, to like, keep their like all their canned food and everything else. So, yeah. like you know, I would be playing right next to a big old uh, a stack of like uh, Campbell soup, or, yeah, or you know, corn or something. Yeah, like that, yeah, right? exactly, <laughs> cream corn or something. And you'll see we designed it so it actually looks like kind of a garage. Dude, wait, where's the all of the egg cartons? <laughs> They're supposed yeah, to be right, <laughs> stapled on the wall. Stapled on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Where it really all happened for me was in my the living room of our apartment. I used to use the coffee table as my stage. Yeah, it's funny because I think um, initially I was uh, trying to imagine myself as sort of a drummer or yeah. a singer or a lead guitar player, and then I discovered bass. I realized that everything I was sort of grooving to and and the, where the pulse was coming from was that instrument was yeah, the right. bass and the drums and the rhythm section. Yeah. I guess I gotta play bass. Yeah, right. Because, you know, it's funky and I like that. Where'd you get that first guitar from? I had a handful of cherry bombs and I'd seen this kind of crack guitar at the top of this kid's closet. So I said, I'll tell you what, I'll give you some of these cherry bombs for that guitar on the top sure. of your closet. So he ran over and got it, came over. I gave him the cherry bombs. About 15 minutes later, all the cherry bombs are gone. I got a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> right. When me and Ann started first playing after we saw the Beatles on Ed Sullivan, it was a call to duty yeah. in the culture. Yeah. And uh, they had guitars. We got we went to our bedrooms or, or a stairway yeah, right. that had some echo in it with our acoustics. And, you know, mutated from there, we started trying to write songs, which were really terribly bad. To, to <laughs> you got to start with, somewhere, yes. right? <laughs> so the whole idea here is that Anyone can walk in, whether they've played an instrument before or not. And we really wanted this to be as authentic as possible. Nice. Heavy, right? But it's that idea that it's a real guitar, right? What we've got set up is that you can actually learn how to play it. That's which so is cool. really cool, because you've got people of all different ages who are able to do it. They can pick a lesson, kind of songs on easy, you know, play along with Nile Rodgers on <laughs> Cheek or you know, the Beastie Boys, Metallica, Deep Purple. What about Louie Louie? Louie Louie, that's when we got to add in here, right? Yeah, so this one's an easy lesson, so it, it assumes no knowledge. When... Do they have to learn how to tune it? We do it for them. And you'd be uh, amazed how quickly, <laughs> right, these all go out of tune yeah. immediately. <laughs> and over here, we've got the bass guitar one set up. Oh, wow. So you can come over and pick up a P bass or something like that. Uh -huh. A whole different selection of songs. We've got keyboards. Let's get amped. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. And you'll notice each one tells you the level, too. So they say intermediate or easy or difficult. So yeah. that if you get someone to come in here who knows how to play it, maybe they want to learn. advanced stuff. Exactly. Oh, that's that's right. right. That's fantastic. The drum rooms in here are soundproof. The experience is pretty amazing. You yeah. see people of all different ages walk in here and families where kids will come up and start playing guitar and the parents will join in and, and talk that. with them on yeah, it. That's important, you know. It's important to get the young people uh, um, into physically playing instruments yeah. and learning how to play guitar. There's less of that happening than when we grew up. What's so great about how this is expanded in this museum is that it's no longer an arm's length, right. kind of an institutionalized feel to it. Yeah, It's humanized and people can walk in here and some teacher will show it to them. That's right. So the staff right. here is our teachers too. Yeah, in fact, we awesome. call them teaching musicians. Everyone That's who works so in this garage area. Over here, we've got our acoustic lounge. Oh. So this is where you can come in, you can hang out. And the whole idea was just make it like the comfy living room. We've got everything from Gibson, you know, a hummingbird, Martin guitars, acoustics, uh, you know, even ukuleles, which we see a lot of families pick up and just kind of jam on and have a good time. Yeah. Yeah! That's pretty one. Isn't that cool? You might see three or four different people come in here, yeah. grab an acoustic guitar and sit down on the couch, and they'll just start playing together. It's pretty amazing how that works. 
Yeah, music that has a tendency to draw people together. Yeah, right. bring people together. Well, yeah. this is this is beautiful. They've got nice, comfy places to sit. And yeah, pick exactly. And, right. Yeah, that's great. This is the room that we call the jam room. And when you've graduated from the lesson to hanging out in the acoustic lounge, you can come on into the jam room. Mm. And we made sure this room had all the real stuff in it, right? Right. So this is sort of the chance for musicians who come into the garage and play with our staff who get to hang out and jam. Great, great, yeah. great. Yeah, I think this is so good for the culture. There's something missing that's the realness of this. It's not digitized. That's right. Or run by computer. That's right. It's run by humans. It's the really hands-on actual touch of music. Human powered. Human powered, yeah. yeah. So I, I really applaud you guys for what you're doing because it's, it's important because it's, it's going missing. Yeah. <laughs> so keep right. it going. All right, play some. call from uh, the CEO of Gibson Guitars. Yeah. He says, Don, this guy's playing the guitar solo from Hotel California, just spot on. Yeah. And I said, well, yeah, I've heard a lot of people do that. He says, this kid's eight years old. So I said, give me the phone, put him on the phone. I gotta talk <laughs> no to him. Way. I said, I didn't even start playing until I was 10. I joined the band after I kind of went to college for a bit, yeah. became hard and saw, you know, join the army, see the world kind yeah, of Yeah, right, enlist, right. You know, you find your tribe basically you find your tribe of people and then you just see where it, where it leads you. Being in a band for me was like being in an adventure, you know, and, and the instruments were kind of like driving the adventure along, you know, the quote, have guitar will travel. It's like your instrument is your magic carpet, you know? <laughs> Absolutely. I remember being so excited and enthusiastic about jamming with people. I would get on my 10 speed bike and I'd have my <laughs> bass case over here and my amp over here. And I somehow, <laughs> and I was somehow was able to balance everything and get, you know, a mile or two down the road yeah. to jam. And there was just that excitement and it was very pure. Yeah. Um, that's a powerful thing, you know. <laughs> I think every young musician starts out. Eventually, when you're jamming with your friends, you gotta be in the garage. Yeah. All right. Good. 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 <laughs> yeah! That's cool! That's cool! That's cool. <laughs> that was fun! Thanks! All right, oh, I'm awesome. glad someone played something. Yeah.